what's going on y'all so we're heading to the woods right now and we're back with another one so tonight we're going to be hunting phoenix and a uh, pup out of her old dan and uh we're going to be hunting some fintros tonight on the side by side hunting some small patches things like that uh here in west tennessee it's early february coons are still rutting um, a lot of our river bottoms are still underwater uh, so i'm hunting some places that's coming out from the river should hopefully have some coons held up um, you know here in these flat river bottoms uh, we got a lot of corn fields and bean fields and things around these fintros and that's what we're going to try to get on some coons tonight um, so also i want to say is uh, i've got a friend that's got a podcast going uh clint hopper he's also here from west tennessee uh, his podcast is called digging into the dog box so y'all check that out uh, he usually puts out a new show about every Friday, just discussing coon hunting, coon dogs, uh, doing interviews with coon hunters and hound hunters. Uh, it's based on hound hunting in general. And uh, like I said, check him out on Spotify, and that's Digging in the Doll Box. And also, uh, there's another podcast that's a great one. It's called Legends of the Black and Tans by Chad Smith and Ray Conrad. Uh, and they're also on Spotify. Uh, they interview a lot of the black and tan legends that's been hunting the black and tan breed for periods of years decades however you want to say it uh these guys uh, a lot of them still hunt some of them don't but anyway they got a lot of good stories on there about the black and tan so if you're a black and tan man like me i really enjoy it so check out legends of the black and tans also on spotify all right we're heading to the woods we'll see y'all here in a little bit Phoenix, she just struck. I don't know if you can hear them or not. Phoenix, she's treed. Old girl's pushing 10 years old. She, she definitely ain't got the mouth she used to have. Well. We'll ride down, see what we got. It's a huge old tree over there. Girl. All right, we're gonna get back here. Let me catch this old coon laid up somewhere. Oh, right girl. What we got here? She's there's a you can see it's several big oak sweet gums here together. Looks like. Which my light don't do it justice, but all this, all these big trees tie in together up here. And uh, there's definitely a den right there. And there's a den right there. I'm not seeing anything on the outside. But as far as all this runs in together, all this up down through here. He could be laid up anywhere. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time right here. We still got a lot of tree line on down to hunt. Maybe we can catch one on the outside. Phoenix, she got treed again. We're gonna go to her right here and see if she got anything. Tree right here. 
and get back to see if we can find something. What we got here is another den. Right there. We're off this. And we can try to catch one on the outside. They still hitting them dens tonight. Man, I could just about fit in that hole. In a hole, little girl. So we drove the side by side down to another tree line that actually tees into that long one. We hunted it near a mile down it. She treed two dens and uh, what I didn't film, she worked an old bad track, just never could get for sure. So I called her in, sent her down this one. And um, she went down it until she found one. She's about 780, 800 yards. She's wanting to fall a tree or she's trying to. Uh, she's doing a lot of locating in there. We're going to walk back to the ranger and, and uh, drive down to her. All right, we was able to drive most of the way to her. Well, I could have drove all the way to her right here. Just a tree on this big tree right here. Uh, big old tree right here on the creek. You got him, old girl. Took me a while to get to you. Little girl. Hopefully this ain't a den. It's just, like I said, it's been a den. Den, den, not, sure. Lucky she was on, on this side of the creek where I could drive. Right. We'll see if we can find him. Alright, so I just recut Phoenix. I got her off that tree. Uh, good size uh, oak tree, but I I couldn't find anything in it but a big squirrel nest. Uh, threw my little thermal up there. It shows some heat in it, but could have been a squirrel laid up in it. But them coons will lay up in them too. It's just been a bad night. Uh, anyway, so she's she's going down through here hunting. We're going to try it one more time. The male pup, he's uh, 400 yards from here. He's just staying to himself tonight. Maybe she'll get another one going here directly. A lot of tracks. This old fence row back in here. A lot of big acorn tree, a lot of oaks down through here. It's just been a bad night. Uh, so far tonight, we've covered probably, she's probably covered two miles and she has struck and tree two cold den tracks or den trees the pup is uh he's kind of staying to himself tonight he's trying to work some old tracks he can't do much with them they're about 600 yards from me now on down this other tree line just working another super cold track this went last this past saturday night tree four dens with Hank. It's 36 degrees. It's a dark, starry night. Still as it can be. And just last two nights, uh, just these coons have not been moving great. All right, so we just got, I just caught Phoenix and Dan. Um, starting to work his coon back near a house right there they they run a hot track uh, down this creek back in here across this little country road they was out in this field working a track so i was able to drive the ranger down here to them pretty quick and they just came right to me so i don't have permission to be on that property over there and pretty close to a house back in there so 
anyway it's just been a one of them one of them nights y'all but uh anyway like i said you can't trim at the house just had a, had a good time getting out here and trying to get a coon tree tonight it's been a tough night well that's two nights for me it's been pretty tough so but all right i hope y'all enjoyed this one this is john m731 outdoors i'll keep the tree